Visiting the Karo village in the Omo Valley can be an incredibly enriching and culturally immersive experience. Departing from Termi, our journey took us westward, traversing through the captivating landscapes of Ethiopia. After an hour of driving along winding roads and passing by stunning vistas, we arrived at the Karo village, perched majestically on a hill, overlooking the Omo River. They are skilled artisans, known for their body painting using natural pigments and creating intricate designs on their bodies. They also practice scarification, which involves creating decorative patterns by making small cuts on the skin and then rubbing ash or charcoal into the wounds. The Karo people primarily rely on subsistence farming and fishing for their livelihoods. They cultivate crops such as sorghum, maize, and beans. Fishing in the nearby Omo River is also an important activity for them. The Karo people are known for their unique body decorations and intricate scarification patterns. However, it is essential to seek permission before taking photographs. Always respect their wishes if they decline or ask for a small fee in exchange for taking pictures. Karo huts are generally small and round in shape, with conical roofs. The huts are often single-room structures, serving as living quarters for individual families or small groups. The primary building materials used in Karo hut construction are wood, thatch, and mud. The framework of the huts is usually made from wooden poles or branches, while the walls and roofs are constructed using thatch and mud. The walls of the huts are built using a technique called wattle and daub. Thin branches or reeds are woven horizontally between the framework poles, creating a lattice-like pattern. Once the lattice is complete, a mixture of mud, clay, and sometimes dung is applied to the outer surface to form a solid and weather-resistant wall. Karo villages are often organized in a circular or semicircular pattern, with the huts arranged closely together. The village may have a central communal area where community gatherings and important events take place. At the core of the social structure is the family unit, which forms the foundation of Karo society. Families typically live together in huts made of thatch and mud, with each hut housing multiple generations. The eldest male serves as the head of the family and is responsible for making important decisions. The body painting holds great significance in Karo culture and is a form of artistic expression. They use natural pigments, such as pulverized white chalk, red iron ore, and black charcoal, to create elaborate patterns on their bodies. The paint is applied using fingers, sticks, or brushes, and the designs often depict animals, plants, or abstract symbols. During my relatively short visit, I captured some fascinating portraits that I would like to briefly share with you here. Due to our limited time, we could only scratch the surface in exploring the life within the Karo village. However, even with our brief visit, we were able to catch a glimpse of their vibrant culture and observe some of their daily activities. Exploring the depths of their social structure, including the roles of elders, the dynamics of kinship, 
and the nuances of social stratification would have required more extensive and in-depth interactions. We could only catch glimpses of the complex web of relationships that form the foundation of Caro society. Additionally, participating in their festivities, witnessing their ceremonies, and experiencing their vibrant celebrations would have provided a more comprehensive understanding of their cultural practices and spiritual beliefs. The tribes in the Omo Valley are truly fascinating, and I am eager to return soon and delve deeper into their culture.